Hi, this is Shubham from Monist View, and today in this podcast, we will discuss equity mutual funds. Here, we are going to discuss about what are the different types, benefit, taxation, all in and out about equity mutual funds in India and in general. Before starting this journey, if you want to read the full article about equity mutual fund, then the link of article is in a description. So let discuss what is the need for this equity mutual fund are the type of mutual fund that invest in majority of the pool of capital in stocks and related security the key advantage of investing in an equity mutual fund is that investor get exposure to an equity markets through a qualified fund manager who may make the relevant rebalancing activity in your portfolio so as to minimize the risk and capture maximum return of the segment let's explore the equity fund in detail so here is a main key concept what is an equity mutual fund equity mutual fund invest in equities for companies and offer diversification of a portfolio across equity market segment such as market capitalization or specific industry or themes in the hope of earning substantial returns as large exposure to equity give equity mutual fund the potential to outperform the debt and hybrid fund in terms of returns however risk is also higher on equity fund so here in india we have lot of equity mutual fund based on a market capitalization like a blue chip equity mutual fund or small cap equity fund or mid cap fund also there are some specific industry like a banking industry mutual fund or energy sector or a reality sector etc and on different themes also so one of the key basic basic and buzzing theme right now is about ev that is electronic vehicle so the all the companies engage in supplying the components of these ev ecosystem are part of that let discuss what are the advantages of equity mutual fund investing the basics are very simple as it is a purely an an equity mutual fund the first one is experts are in charge of your investment through fund manager or analytics or everything second is a fractional buying of share is possible since we are buying through units and not the shares directly so the fractional buying of shares is allowed third is a diversification of portfolio with not a single investment as we are pulling resources of a investor under the amc the fourth advantage is convenient to buy and sell which means there is no requirement to time the market we are already in market the fifth advantage is plenty of options suitable to investor preference nowadays we can get it from our electronic mobile the sixth advantage is investing in a systematic manner is an option available that is sip which is really a convenient and the last option available is it provide versatility and liquidity since we can go through the units of a equity mutual fund it is very easy and liquidity possible because of our regulations of a sebi to the fund manager so let discuss what are the taxation rules for equity funds the first tax which we can get is a capital gains if you hold the unit of a equity fund for less than a year the capital gain you are pay is a capital gain in terms of a short term so that is a short term capital gain when you pay security transaction tax the stcg is applicable is 15% if you hold the sh- units for more than one year and it went to a long term period then ltcg apply the tax rate for ltcg is at 10% over and above rupees 1 lakh the second tax which attract over here is dividend distribution tax that is ddt so this tax is deducted at a point of a sale as a result when a mutual fund pays out dividend ddt is deducted before payment is distributed now let discuss what are the different types of equity mutual fund the first type which we are going to discuss is investment strategy based categorization over here the basic objective is to pull the resources for an investment portfolio from a strategic goal over here we gonna discuss the three major these categories the first one is a theme and sectoral fund based an equity fund may choose to follow a certain investment theme which follow with their goals such as an international stock theme or an emerging market theme some themes may also invest in specific market sector like bfsi or it or pharmaceutical the second sector is a focused equity fund these funds invest in up to 30 equities of a company with a 
market capitalization that specific at that time of a skip component over here the portfolio is concentrated about only those 30 to 40 or even 50 securities for a long term the third sectoral theme is a contra equity fund these equity funds theme comb the market for underperforming equities and buy them at a bargain price which is expectation that they will rebound in the long run over here the game is like in swing trading the second type of equity investment is a tax mix categorization here there are basically two categories first one is ELHS equity link saving program these are the only equity scheme that offer a tax benefit under section 80c of income tax in 1961 these plans have a lock-in period of a three years the second tax treatment based categorization is a non-tax saving equity funds all other equity funds with an exception of ELSS are considered as a non-tax saving plan as it's exclusively for ELSS to get the ATC deduction the third category is according to an investment style over here the style means an active fund and passive fund so active funds are basically funds which are actively managed by the fund manager who select the stock to comprise the fund and monitor it carefully possibly rebalances from time to time to capture maximum returns on the other hand passive funds are usually a mirror to a market index and consist of the same stock in the same quantity and weightage as the composition of a fund the fund manager is not involved in the stock selection of this scheme the fourth type of equity mutual fund is as per the market capitalization over here as the name suggests it is basically of a large cap that is a blue chip equity fund mid cap it's around 250 companies which are there except for blue chip and the third one is a small cap equity fund these are basically the funds which traded in a low volume with high future benefit growth and the fourth section over here is a combination of all three that is multi cap fund multi cap fund invest in stock with a range of market capitalization depending on the market condition the fund manager pick the stock and rebalances across the market capitalization before investing in equity mutual fund you have to take a note of few important things the first one is an expense ratio the expense ratio of actively managed equity fund is generally high because of frequently buying and selling of share for equity fund the security and exchange board of india has spent upper limit of 2.5 percent holding period is the another thing you have to take in care of just like a stock holding an equity mutual fund for a longer term may yield a good return as the return of underlying asset increases cumulatively for the fund growth also when the investor redeem their fund unit they realize a capital gain short term or long term so let's discuss what is the bottom line over here if you want to achieve financial freedom then it is necessary to invest in equities and if you don't want to invest in equities directly equity mutual fund is the best option but it is totally depend on the risk appetite of individuals it is necessary to study before investing in mutual funds so if you want to read the full article about this then the link of article is in a description thank you guys for joining with us this is shubham from moni studio signing off